You were also in, I think I read Tombstone. Tombstone. Yeah, I mean, that's gosh, so lucky. Yeah, so I got cast in Tombstone. Kevin Jare just, I wasn't working much at the time. It was the 90s, I think. And I was like, fuck, what am I going to do? And then my agent colleague goes, hey, you have an offer to do a Western. And I'm like, a Western? <laughs> that's great. And he goes, yeah. yeah, it's called Tombstone. I'm like, Tombstone? Fuck, that's awesome. He goes, yeah, it's, it's by Kevin Jare and the cast you're going to be working with is Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, Powers Booth, Sam Elliott, Bill Paxton, Billy Bob Thornton, Jason Priestley. John. And I was like, Michael Bean. What, yeah. what am I going to play? It's like, you're going to play Tom <laughs> Flowery, who's a real life cowboy that gets shot and killed in the OK Corral. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't have to, I didn't have to read for it. The, the, Kevin, the director just saw my picture. He knew me. And he goes, that looks like just like Tom McClatt's the guy I want to play. I got an offer. I didn't have to read for it. And I'm like, well, this is my lucky day, you know? And I went to Arizona and I was there from the first table reading through. They they replaced Kevin Jari with George Cosmatos. I came back. We took a little break while they reworked the script. And then I came back and I was there on the last day of filming for the whole thing in Tucson, Arizona. So I, again, just riding horses and shooting guns out in the two, out in Arizona. And it was a fucking dream come true for any wannabe cowboy or actor, you know? So it had to have been, and you, you got to do the shootout at the okay corral. I mean, I know I'm in the shootout at the okay corral. We rehearsed that so many times. One, at one point we got it down to the, we had a stopwatch and how many rounds were shot during the okay corral and how many seconds it lasted. And we got it down to the, we got it right on the second and with exactly how many rounds. And then we just started breaking it into filming, but we did a master with it, and it just we hit our marks exactly. It was really exciting. That's funny what your uh, when you're talking about the OK Corral. I was just there. I was just in Tombstone. So, so yeah, so I was at the OK Corral, which burnt down. The one that's there currently now isn't the real one. And uh, I was at your character's grave. No yeah, way. They're all they're all buried, like literally. Yeah, like we got buried there. Yeah, they. Yeah, did they're, they like two, they're, they're literally two miles from the the, the strip of tombstone. So. Oh yeah. man, yeah, we did. We got. We had to do the scene when we're dead, and they put a ton of makeup on us. Oh, they had the pictures it. up and all that. Yeah, it's got the exact oh, yeah? where Morgan died and all that. You gotta remember, oh, like back then when there was a fire. They didn't know how they didn't exactly have a fire department. So a lot of that stuff that's in tombstone is just rebuilt up. It's like oh. a lot of it's gone. But you know, but yeah, the Coke Corral, you could go there and see the reenactment. And I did that. And uh Johnny Ringo's graves about an hour away, you know. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like right where at the end of the tombstone movie, you know, that there's a big thing of like. Did he kill himself? Did White Herb kill him, or did uh, Doc Holliday kill him? Because you know, for how for for uh, Hollywood purposes, that's the script they came up with. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But like right the spot where you know, kind of where you know, in the movie, pretty much reenact is right where you know, what I saw. So they buried him right there. They just came and back then when you were that much trouble, they just came, confirmed you were dead, and they put you right in that spot. <laughs> So, yeah. how good was michael bain and val kilmer in that shootout like when val shoots him in the fucking head and the guy's still alive and michael bain is still alive that's some of the darkest best work in the western i've ever seen the, to me that that was like beautiful the, you were just in there like these are two hardcore characters you both you like both of them yeah <laughs> so it's got to go down but it's just like they were so dark and awesome you know oh, that was just as good as movies get i think yeah. I mean that that whole that, the whole idea of that from start to finish. Like every character when you really look at every, you know, your character and everybody was involved with the gang, you're just like if you pay attention, everyone's like a somebody. Yeah. From something, yeah. you know. Yeah, they, that you know, that's all thanks to Kevin Jari who wrote that script, just an amazing historical beautiful screenplay. And he, yep. he and you know, you know, because he put that cast together based on the script cuz actors just look at what's on the page, you know, like I mean, actors of that caliber, yeah. they just go, is, is something on the page here written that I could really do something with and enjoy and feel good about in my life, you know? And I mean, back then, not, I'm, I'm not saying that all actors work like that, but those yeah. actors, it's got to be on the page. That's what they're looking for. And Kevin yeah. Jare wrote such a beautiful, deep, long script 
that he got he was allowed to direct those stars even though he'd never directed a movie in his life but but the studios you know they're in it for the money so they're like at some point they had to go kevin this isn't working uh, you as a director thank you very much but we're gonna have to replace you with an action director george cosmatos who didn't understand the script or anything but he understood act action uh -huh. you know and that so that movie got they cut about 80 pages out of the first script and and made the movie that it is today but 